Whether it's with corned beef and cabbage, green beer, or lucky four-leaf clovers, Americans are all about St. Patrick's Day. I can vouch for that. But who was the man behind all the reverie? One America's Cameron Kramer explores the life of St. Patrick and brings us some trivia about this holiday. Green beer, green bagels, and even green rivers in Chicago. But the story behind this celebration starts out sober and somber. St. Patrick was born around 387 AD in Scotland and became religious once he was kidnapped by slave traders and brought to Ireland to be a shepherd. Patrick spent six years enslaved in the Irish countryside tending to his master's sheep. Historical documents suggest Patrick began to have visions and hear voices that told him, your ship is ready. So he escaped, fleeing 200 miles to the coast and discovering a boat bound for England. In England, Patrick once more had a vision this time telling him to return to Ireland. But before he would go there, Patrick went to what would become present-day France to study at a monastery. Patrick became a priest, a deacon, and finally a bishop. And when he reached his mid-40s, he returned to Ireland. But instead of tending to sheep, he shepherded over a different flock, converting hundreds of thousands of people and creating convents and monasteries throughout the country. He died on March 17th in the late 400s and had gained so much popularity his followers fought over custody of his body. Today, his death is honored with less confrontations and more celebrations. Boston held the world's first St. Patrick's Day parade in 1737, and in 2016, 125 million Americans will celebrate, despite the fact that only about 33 million people of Irish descent currently live in America. Despite that, revelers will spend a total of $4.4 billion celebrating the occasion, and a lot of that money will be spent on drinks. Approximately 13 million pints of Guinness will be consumed worldwide today. But while you're sipping on your St. Patrick's Day suds, think about the real reason for all the revelry. Patrick didn't use the four-leaf clover for luck. Instead, he used a three-leaf clover to teach the message of the Holy Trinity. <laughs> 